Okay, today I'm gonna be re fixing some stripped threads in the head of EJ22 on a 97 Subaru Legacy. So what happened, this was last winter now. I was driving and then I stopped and then I turned the car on and all of a sudden I hear a boom, sound like a gunshot or something like that and my car starts misfiring, running real bad. So I get out, turn it off, look under the car and I see a spark plug laying on the ground. I'm like, okay, well that's not good. So then, I thread the spark plug back in and all was fine seemingly. It didn't seem like it caught as many threads or anything like that so I've kind of just been driving it around sparingly since then. This is just a spare car that I use for picking up stuff and whatnot so it wasn't always my daily driver. Um, but since winter's coming up I'm going to be using it more so I want to get it into good running shape so I figured I'd check that spark plug and I want to remove that spark plug in only about, I don't know, a couple of turns, maybe two and a half turns or so and then it was out. So there's not a whole lot of threads biting in there anymore. So when it shot out, it must have messed up a lot of the threads. And I read read up on this, and apparently it's a common issue on this particular engine. And they say even if you thread it back in like that, it's just going to end up shooting out for whatever reason. Um, and I kind of see how that happens because I, I went to loosen it, and it was very loose. Like I just barely turned it, and it popped right out. So I'm going to go ahead and do a helicoil on it. And I've looked up a couple of different videos and uh, for old forum posts and whatnot, and this seems to be a pretty decent one for the money. This is only like 35 bucks or so on Amazon and eBay. It's a helicoil save a thread um, made by Stanley, I think. Yeah, Stanley. Um, so this is a particular one that I got for this job. And yeah, it should work. Um, I'm not going to risk driving it around with only a few threads at this point now that I know that. So I'm going to go ahead and... I got the spark plug out now, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you what we do. Okay, so this is the tool for cutting the threads. So basically you see it's tapered there, so I'm going to push in, put pressure on it, tighten it up slowly, you know, as much as it'll go, then back it out to get the shavings out of the middle. I'm going to have grease on here so that it'll shoot, catch all the shavings, so hopefully we won't have much as far as shavings in the engine. Um, and then we're going to back them out, clean it off, put a little more grease, just basically just keep going to cut the threads all the way through and then from there we're gonna go ahead and continue on with the other parts I'll show you but this part not a whole lot to see I'll kind of show me doing it but you can't really see in there or anything like that but you'll kind of get the idea okay so here I've got some of the grease on there not a whole lot just need a little bit in there so it'll end up in there to catch all the threads that I'm cutting so I'm gonna go ahead and cut them see how it goes it's kind of nerve-wracking because the car technically runs fine as it is right now but you only get a couple of turns of threads and then it's tight, so it's not far from shooting out. And definitely don't want that thing shooting out in the middle of winter, snowstorm, or something like that while I've got my two-year-old daughter. So, you know, going to take care of this here before we get to that point. Alright, and then you kind of got to try to get it in the right angle. Hard to show it on camera, but... And there it is right there. I'm trying to get it, you know, centered like the factory one would be. Now kind of just putting pressure with my left hand. It's kind of hard to see it. Might be out of the frame and then threading it in. It can definitely feel it's cutting into there now. It's hard to get it going. All right. So you can see where Definitely cutting the threads. Obviously, that looks kind of scary looking at it. So, yeah, I'm going to clean these off, put a little more grease, and keep going. I'm not that far in so far, so, yeah. All right, so I'm kind of just going to continue with the same thing. Probably won't show this entire process. Maybe I'll show the updates, but here's a little more grease on there. Then I'll keep going with it and keep cutting. 
Alright, here's round two. A little further along, about halfway through those threads. Pretty sure I got to go all the way through um, because I was looking at the spark plug and that's roughly the same amount of thread. So it's more or less what I'm going for. Not really 100% sure. Never done this, so we'll see how this works out. I could totally be messing up my engine. We'll find out. So here's round three. Probably need to go a little further than I'm going, but as you can see, it's filling up with threads or you know metal shavings. So it's doing what it needs to do. Looks really messed up and feels wrong to be doing it, to be honest. But whatever. All right. So round four. More shavings, but I'm actually almost all the way through if you look at the clean threads. So still got a little bit more, not much. So we're getting there. Okay, so it looks like I'm all the way through because you see all the threads are clean. There's only a little bit of the sleeves up here for the shavings, but all the threads are clean. It got real easy at one point, so seems like a good sign because I didn't want to do it too short because I've seen it where people don't thread it all the way in and then the spark plug doesn't thread all the way in, therefore the little adapter thing that the little sleeve insert doesn't thread in and then it ends up shooting out later on or unthreading. So it looks like this is good. I'm going to clean it off, do it once more, just to be sure any, I get any other shavings that are left in there. And then I'll show you the rest of the steps. Alright, so on that pass, a lot less shavings. Barely anything at all. So I'll do one more, and then I'm going to call it good. Alright, so here's what I'm going to call my last pass. I'm all the way through because you can see I started wiping the grease off that I put towards the end here. And there's very little shavings left. I don't think I'm going to be able to get everything, so I'm going to call that good. I'm going to clean this off real good, thread it in once more, just to see if maybe I can clean some more of that grease off, and then moving on. Alright, there was a threading in with very little grease on it. No shavings left, just a little bit of the grease that was coming off, so I think we're in good shape. Okay, and this little kit comes with a couple of different inserts. And going off of the sizes, I think the best one's going to be the largest one because I'm looking at how much thread I got here on the spark plug. So that's what we're going to go with. We'll go with this one. And basically the way it works is the spark plug threads into this fitting. And then the fitting itself is what you end up threading in along with the spark plug, obviously. So what we do is we put it on like that, thread it in there. And I think the idea is that you're supposed to do that, take the spark plug back out and have this guy stay in there and then you put this insert right here on the end and you tap it a couple of times to spread these teeth out here. And I'm not sure how well that'll actually work. Um, I'm gonna try it. What I'm gonna do is put red thread locker all around the outside threads here. Now what I'm gonna do is thread it onto here, get the spark plug in there, thread it in, or get it on the spark plug, thread it on. Well, I'll probably do it at this point, so I'll thread it on there. What I'll probably do is thread it in, let the um, red Loctite seal overnight, come back tomorrow, see if I can unthread the spark plug, and then I'll see about um, doing the tapping and opening it up. Just because I don't see, I, I feel like if I do it just dry and then try to take this back out it's possibility to start to um this part will start to thread out and then if i tap this it's, and open it up it's not going to have anything to tap to bite into so to me this seems a more logical way if you have any uh input on that go ahead and leave it in the comments but that's the route that i'm going to go with okay so now what i'm going to do is put a little bit of anti-seize onto the threads of the spark plug then i'm going to thread on the sleeve onto there and then after that, I'm going to put the th red thread locker on the outside of this. Right now that's backwards, so don't do that. It'll go like this. So the idea is going to be I'm going to put NICs on the threads there, thread this on, and then put red thread locker on the outside here so that when I let this cure overnight, when I go to back out the spark plug, the insert will stay in there but the spark plug will come out. And then from there, I can go ahead and do the, put the, the piece on the end, or use the little piece there to spread this open so it bites into the head and doesn't end up threading out. So, seems like a logical way to go. We'll try it out and see how it goes. 
All right, so I got just a little bit of anti-seize on there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and thread the sleeve onto here. All right, so I got the sleeve sort threaded onto there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the red thread locker on there and thread it in there. And one other thing I'm gonna do, I don't know how, how much I can really get in there, but I'm gonna put this in there in the spark plug hole and try to clean out any leftover grease that might be in there. Okay, it's somewhat hard to tell, but you can see the shininess there. Went ahead with the thread locker, went around it, got it all on the threads. So now I'm gonna go ahead, thread this into the spark plug hole. I'm gonna let it cure overnight. It says workable at 20 minutes, but fully cured 24 hours. So I don't know if I'll let it overnight. I might thread this in, go eat dinner, give it some time and come back out and fire it up and see what happens. I'll obviously let it cure overnight. I'm not gonna go drive this down, you know, an hour away or anything like that, but yeah. All right, so I just threaded the old girl in. Kind of freaked me out for a second. I thought it was stripped out. I kept, it just kept spinning and spinning and spinning. Then eventually started biting down, then went loose again. The threads might not be fully clean, I don't know, but so I cranked it and now it's pretty tight. I'm not torquing them down or anything like that yet, but it's pretty tight. I don't think I should go much more than that, so I'm going to go ahead and call that good for right now. Honestly, I'll probably just let it cure for a few hours, and then I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Hopefully, she doesn't shoot right back up. I'll start it up and then pull it out, and then just make sure it's, it's good as far as that goes, and then leave it overnight and then pull the spark plug tomorrow see if I can knock that little this little guy hit it with this guy so it spreads it out bites into the head we'll see all right so I went ahead and started it up this is the next night it's working fine no noises or anything like that seems to be running nice and smooth so we'll see how long this lasts 